Last week, the Edna Cowboys upset Goliad in the second round of the Class 3A Division I playoffs. As they prepared to take on Ingram Moore in the third round, a horrific tragedy struck the team and the town of Edna. Starting sophomore linebacker Noah Ortiz, number 50 on your screen, and four of his siblings died in a tragic trailer fire. The Cowboys came out and honored Ortiz before the start of this game as they looked not only to pay tribute to him, but also to advance to December football. Before the game, there was a check presentation as the town of Ingram collected more than $16,000, and that money was donated to the parents of Noah Ortiz to help with funeral expenses. Even the officiating crew showed emotions. It brought me down into tears, you know, just uh, to think about the tragedy that's happened, and the family that's going through that, but also the love around us in the community we're fixing to play and what they did for that family. I just, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of bad things going on in this world, but there's still a lot of good. When you're in this line of business, man, you know, it, it's all about kids, and that was about kids. It's sometimes you get kicked in the face with life, and uh, we just felt like, uh, you know, whatever we could do to help them would be great. For me, she was my best friend, truthfully, and that was just such a great honor. We respect Ingram Moore so much for that. Edna replaced their usual helmet sticker, normally an E inside of a star, with a 50 in place of the E. Fans wore number 50 shirts, and there were many signs in the bleachers and on the railings. It was just like he was on the field last Friday night. He was as if he, it was as if he was there with us tonight. There was a game to be played, and the Edna defense made a pair of quick stops. A three and out followed by a bad handoff exchange by Ingram caused a fumble and an Edna recovery. They scored touchdowns on both ensuing drives. First, Deontay Jones lost the ball at the goal line, and somehow it took a quirky bounce before being recovered by Marquise Broussard in the end zone for an improbable touchdown. I remember diving in there, then all of a sudden, like, Bounced 10 yards inside the end zone. I'm like, how did that happen? And the funny thing is, me and a friend, we're talking about something strange like that's going to happen because we know him. Noah, he's, he loves football, and I know he would do something like that. Some things just can't be explained. Broussard with an eight yard touchdown run on the next drive, and it was 12 0 Edna early. By the way, Edna's most famous football player was a guy named Steve Austin. You know him better as former professional wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just before halftime, Edna quarterback Landon O'Connor in trouble, but a screen pass to Broussard, who somehow hauled it in and ran 33 yards to the Ingram 11. He later scored on a one-yard touchdown run, and it was 20-7 Edna at halftime. To the third quarter, Cowboys up 23-7, but Ingram quarterback Keon Valverde tried to lead the Warriors to a comeback on the only red turf football field in the state, high school, college, or professional. The handoff to Cody Mann went for 38 yards to the Edna 6 as he ran over tacklers and made others whiff on tackle attempts. Next play, Valverde with the floater to the corner of the black end zone, perfectly thrown to Derek Brown for the touchdown. Conversion failed though, 23-13 Edna midway through the third. Ingram, by the way, set a school record with their first 10 win season in program history. Edna came right back on their next drive as a short field helped set up a three yard touchdown run by Broussard. His third touchdown of the contest, 30-13 Edna. Next Ingram drive, now from the field level, Valverde ran up the middle, path blocked, so he went left, path blocked again, so he came all the way to the right side of the field, disappeared from the camera, hey there he is still scrambling, Derek Brown said hey throw it to me, I'm wide open in the end zone, Valverde does, and all that running led to a 26 yard touchdown pass, he ran about 185 yards before throwing the pig skinned object, two point conversion good 30 to 21 Edna after three, to the fourth and Jones ran left, broke a couple tackles and accelerated down the left sideline for a 38 yard score and a 37 21 lead, Jones also caught a touchdown pass later in the quarter as he had 145 all-purpose yards and Ingram never caught up. We turned one over down there near the goal line and that was that was tough on us and we couldn't crawl back out but you know hats off to them they played a great game. Couldn't be proud of our kids I mean they fought their tails off all year through injuries through sickness and uh, just real happy for them man. It was, a, it was a great year for them and they deserve everything they get. Very touching moment late in the game. Broussard with a two-yard touchdown run, his fourth touchdown of the game. It made the score 50-28. to Huey Chancellor had his team kneel on the PAT attempt. That's because the 50 points scored matched Noah Ortiz's jersey number. Our goal was to hit 50. I mean, really, 
beforehand, people were saying, we're going to hit 50, we're going to hit 50 points. And some of the people, they were like, nah, we're not going to hit it. Then it was 44, and we're like, guys, we need to make this. We need to get this 50. And 50 to 28 is how the game ended. As Chancellor celebrated the win, head coaches shook hands, and the Edna players sang their fight song, holding Ortiz's helmet and cross. Broussard's 211 rushing yards was a big key in winning a game that capped off a difficult week for Edna. Well, we all knew Noah was watching, and we all knew that if we do our part, as a team and family, we could do this. We could win any game as long as we work as a team and we can accomplish, we can accomplish great feats on the field and off the field. We had to push, we had to work hard, and it's all in practice. And also, I truly do believe that Noah's watching over us right now. And you know, he could possibly do something right now. I believe it had a lot to do with Noah. I, he was with us this whole game, and I know that he had a lot to do with that. We had to come together as a team. A lot had to do with the team effort and how we bonded. And we just knew that Noah would be watching from from heaven and we were going to do this for him. We didn't know how we were going to form early, but we came out offensively and defensively, played really well, you know, created a turnover. Uh, I was just really pleased. I've been doing this a long time. Sometimes you need a little help on offense, sometimes you need a little help on defense. And tonight the offense covered the defense. I know this, they've had him in their heart all week long. And I think that uh, when they come on the field tonight, I think they were ready to, to play their best and their deal was to make Noah proud. And I think they did. Edna with the 50 to 28 win, 50 of course being Noah Ortiz's jersey number. Next week will be another emotional week for the Cowboys. They will prepare to take on Hallettsville in the state quarterfinals as they prepare to bury a fallen teammate. Reporting from New Braunfels, I'm Greg Sherman.